Hey everybody, welcome to a stress reducing yoga flow. If you like this flow, be sure to like and subscribe and let me know your favorite parts in the comments. I want you to start lying on your back, bringing your knees into your chest and just gently rocking back and forth. And keep your eyes closed here and just focus on your breath going inward. Now go ahead and keep your knees together and drop them to one side, looking in the opposite direction. Now back to center and then bring both knees to the other side. Inhale back to center, exhale, drop your knees for that twist. Inhale back to center, exhale, drop your knees to the other side for that twist. Inhale back to center. Go ahead and bring your legs all the way down to the mat. You can pull your right knee into your chest here. Then what, we, what I want you to do is extend that leg into a very gentle hamstring stretch. So don't go as deep as you can go, just very gentle, rocking that leg a little bit left and right. Now hold. You can bring your face up to that leg and go ahead and drop it down and release the leg. Now we're going to come into the opposite side. So bring your left knee into your chest. Extend the leg. Very gentle hamstring stretch. Again, today our focus is on stress reducing relaxation, not pushing our body to its maximum limits. There's plenty of time to do that. Go ahead and bring your face towards your leg. And release all the way down. Now go ahead and grab your right leg and bring it into a half happy baby here. Keeping the other leg extended. You can bring that leg up and down slightly. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. Grab the other leg, bring that leg into a half happy baby. Hold for a second and then we're going to come into those rocks. So up, down, up, down, up, down, up down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, hold. Awesome. Now grab both your legs, bring them to your chest, and then come into a full happy baby here. You can rock side to side, going right, then left, then right, then left, then right, then left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left. Just loosening the hips here by going back and forth. Hold in center. Bring your legs straight up towards the sky and then drop your straight legs to the left looking over your right shoulder. So a twist again, just a little bit of a different variation of it. Legs to the sky and then bring them to the other side, looking over the opposite shoulder. Twists to me are like one of my absolute favorite stress reducing poses. So if ever you're feeling stressed out, lying down, doing a twist, doing a seated twist, it always helps calm my mind a little bit. Go ahead and bring your knees to your chest, give yourself a big hug, and then roll up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. Awesome. Now come into an easy seated pose, hands to the sky. 
bring them to your chest. Hands to the sky, to your chest, to the sky. Now take a twist over one shoulder. Then switch sides coming to the opposite shoulder. Come back to center. Go ahead and swing your right leg back so you're in an easy pigeon with your left leg forward. I want you to keep that foot close to your hip using your inner thighs to lift yourself. And then go and drop fully to the mat, hands on the floor slightly in front of you and just rock side to side. Again, not going to your maximum pigeon here, just a very gentle stretch. Focusing on the breath and relaxing. Just rocking back and forth, releasing all those thoughts. You can lift and lower your back leg, just loosening the quad a little bit. Don't grab it, don't do anything too intense, just loosening it up. Now go ahead and swing that leg back, come into a quick puppy pose or whatever your favorite relaxing pose is to come back to neutral, and then slide your right leg forward. Again, keeping your foot towards your hip, use your inner thighs to pull yourself up, drop down, into the mat and rock back and forth. rocking awesome come back to center go into a quick puppy pose or child's pose whatever variation you prefer grab one block and I want you to come into a straddle here not anything too hard not where you don't feel it at all kind of in that middle spot Go ahead and rock back and forth, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right. Awesome. So go ahead and walk yourself forward a little. I want you to bring the block so you can just rest your forehead on it. We're doing a nice gentle straddle here, getting a little bit of a stretch because that always helps me feel looser and less stressed out, but nothing crazy. I just want you to let yourself fully melt. Don't extend your hands all the way. Just let your body just melt and focus on your breath. Try breathing in for three, out for three. In, out, in, out. Focus on what it feels like to push your knees into the floor, the backs of your knees. What does the block feel like on your forehead? How does it feel to let your shoulders just fully relax on the earth? Beautiful job, you guys. Keep relaxing. You can even put two blocks here if you want, or if you have a bolster, you can put that under your stomach. Just some variations to play with on your own time. Go ahead and look up, walk yourself back, hands to the sky, big stretch, take a twist to one side, up to the other. So I want you to push yourself forward into a malasana. Quick little mobility test and then bring that block and you're gonna plant it under your seat here. So in assisted malasana, just go ahead and rocking back and forth, pushing your knees in, out, forward in, back 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 out, Hold. Again, we're in an assisted variation here because what we're trying to do is relax our body, loosen it up and relax. We're not trying to push limits here. For some people, a flow like this is going to be harder than a flow where you push your body because it's hard to just be. 
And for some people, that is me, for sure. But I get much more mental benefit out of doing a float like this, so it definitely serves a purpose. Beautiful job. We're going to bring your hands forward, do a shoulder roll right, left, right, left, sorry, not a shoulder roll, a head roll, I apologize, right, left, bring your chin down, up, down, up, down, up, beautiful, now remove the block, bring your feet back behind you, do a cat, cow pose, so we're going to arch our back, round and hold, you can rock a little, so very slow cat-cow here, arch, round, arch, Round, puppy pose or child's pose. Now come into a wide leg child's pose, no matter what pose you just did there. Breathe in for three, out for three. Walk your hands all the way to the left, getting into the side body a little bit. Still focusing on breathing in for three, out for three. Walk it over to the right. Breathe in for three, out for three. Beautiful. Bring your knees all the way together, hands behind you, and come into a very gentle child's pose. This child's pose is really good for opening up the back and the shoulders and just melting into the earth. If you want, you can roll forward onto your head a little bit, just getting a big stretch throughout the back before melting back fully into the pose. Thank you guys for being here today. You can extend your hands in front of you. Again, be sure to like and subscribe if you liked this flow. Um, and later this week, I will have a splits training flow for all levels. So be sure to sign up for alerts. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful day. Bye.